In this video, I am going to discuss about combinational logic circuit and we are going to discuss about multiplexers. So, uh, what is a multiplexer here? So, as the name suggesting that, so there will be multiple input and it flexes the inputs to a single output. So, how does it work? So, what is the concept of that? Let us understand here. Let us say there is some kind of circuit is there. So, we will be finding out what is the circuit inside. So, and there are two, two inputs, let us say, one is I0 and one is I1, let us say. And there will be only one output, fine. Now, it is a practical system that there are multiple input to a circuit and but there is only one output will be there. Now, the goal here is how do we select that in the output, which of the input is going to come? That means whether the value, value of the Y will be equals to I0 or whether the value will be equals to I1. That is what we are going to find out. For example, you take a uh, general understanding here. Let us say there is a door. One side of the door, let us say five people are standing and only one person can go past the door. Fine. So, which person is going to pass the door? So, that is what multiplexer is. Multiple inputs are there, but only one output can be taken. But which input will be taken to the output? Or which input or the which people we are going to pass the gate or the door, that, that is what we need to find. Now for that, I need another logic which will decide that which input or who among the five people are going to pass the door. So here consider there are two people are there and only one output is there and basically this box I have done, you can consider this as a door in this case. So to decide which input is there, I will take S0 as a input here. Which of these input are going to appear at the output that will be decided by this S0. And this is called as your selection line because it selects that which input is going to available in the output, fine. So how does this work? So with the truth table, we understand it. Now we have one control signal that is S0 and we have one output that is Y, fine. Now if there is one control signal, I can only have the variation, two variations are there, that is 0 and 1. So it is designated that if the S0 value is equals to 0, in that case, the value of y will be equals to i0. If the s0 value is equals to 1, then the value of y equals to i1. So that means if this s0 value I will set equals to 0, this y will be equals to i0. So whatever value 0 or 1, whatever value is there, so the same value will appear across the output. Similarly, if I make it 1, then whatever value is available at i1, so that will be appearing across the output. Fine, this is what the logic is. Now let us see how do I write this uh, Boolean expression so that I can implement the circuit. So for Boolean expression, what is my final output that is equals to Y and it is dependent on what? Dependent on S0, fine. So the first input is, first output is what? I0, but what is the condition there? S0 dash into I0. Means if 0 is there, I am writing in the SOP format. So S0 dash into out, uh, I0 plus so it will be then plus S0 into I1, fine, when the I1 is available, when it is 1, so that is I am taking S0, fine, now this is my required Boolean expression I need to implement to get a multiplexer. Now the things we have discussed here, it is a called as a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, why it is called 2 cross 1 multiplexer, because there are 2 inputs line, 2, two input line are available here and these are being selected to get one output so that becomes two cross one multiplexer. Now let us try to implement this circuit. So I will just uh, remove this and keep the Boolean expression on the screen. So to implement this first we need what? See we need how many inputs are there. S0 is an input, I0 is an input and I1 is it. Basically I need three inputs there. So S0 and I0 will be connected through a AND gate and S0 and I1 also will be connected through AND gate, but here in this case there will be a NOT gate here and they will be added in the OR gate. So let us start the circuit here. So first I need a AND gate, so I will go to the library, going to the ALL groups, so here I will search for the AND gate. So AND2 I will take here, so this is one AND gate here and then I need another AND gate also, so here I will connect for another AND gate. Fine, uh, let me zoom in little bit so that it will be clearly visible. Okay, now what I need? So inputs I require, fine. So for input, let me take the uh, interactive switch here. 
so the interactive switch digital constant i'll take let's say so interactive digital constant i'll take so one constant is taken for s0 fine then two other will be taken for i0 and i1 so this is what i have taken now fine so further what i need i need a or gate here so why the or gate is required to combine these two output of the and gate so i'll take a or gate or two and here i'll connect the or gate fine what else i need you see there is a s dash is there so what i need i need a not gate also so here i'll take a not gate fine simple not gate i am taking here so this not gate i have to place here okay now let me uh, just uh, arrange the things so that it will be easy okay so here what is the thing so this is the selection line so this input is given to the selection line and with not gate it is given to one and gate input of the and gate is your i0 so this is this is what i have implemented now s0 dash into i0 second one is s0 into i0 or i1 so here i1 will be there fine this is the circuit now okay let me write this uh, labels here so this is for let's say s0 and this is for i0 and this one is for i1 okay now this is completed next this input will go to the or gate input will be connected to the and output so this expression now becomes what so this expression whatever i have done here so here the output will be what s0 dash into i0 plus s0 into i1 this is what the expression i am getting here which is my eventually output now to look the output or to see the output what i need so to look into the output i need a probe there so here i will connect a probe so let's say a red probe i will take here fine so the probe probe will be here and we will connect the probe now the circuit is actually complete and we'll uh, run the circuit and test whether it works or not okay now i am simulating the circuit now you see that value of s0 is equals to 0 so according to the truth table we have done let me uh, just quickly write the truth table so we have taken s0 and y here so when s0 is 1 value of output is i0 when s0 is 1 output is 1 sorry first one is 0 then is 1 so output is y1 now here you see what is the condition here the condition is that s0 is 0 that means the output will be equals to i0 so now i0 is equals to 0 that's why the probe is not indicating anything if i make i0 equals to 1 then the probe glowing that means this condition is satisfying but if you see if i make it 0 and change the value of i1 then there is no change why that is because the multiplexer concept says if s0 is equals to 0 then the output will be available that is equal to i0 fine now if i change this s0 to 1 then what will happen according to the table so whatever output input is available at i1 the same will appear across the output now you see here in i1 what is available 0 that's why the probe is not indicating anything if i make i1 equals to 1 then the probe is going that means if s equals to 1 in this case then the output is dependent on the i1 or the output is equals to i1 if i change the value of i0 also then there is no effect on the circuit so that's how a small 2 cross 1 circuit you can implement with multi sim in the next videos we will see 4 cross 1 multiplexer as well uh, thank you